Welcome. This video is on how to compute the discriminant and exactly try to figure out how many solutions and what kind of solutions you do have once you have computed the discriminant. Remember in the quadratic equation, the number in front of x squared represents a. So in this case, a equals 2. The number in front of the x represents b b equals 3 and the number without the x represents c and c equals negative 4 so we can plug these numbers into the discriminant the discriminant is just the part inside of the square root the b squared minus 4ac that's what we call the discriminant once you plug your numbers into the discriminant uh, the steps here step 1 Substitute the parentheses for the letters. In other words, you're going to put parentheses in the b squared minus 4ac. Step 2, plug the correct number, whichever number you have. b was 3, a was 2 up above, and c was negative 4. Plug the correct numbers into the correct parentheses. We did that. And then do the math. Now, if b squared minus 4ac equals 0, then you have one real answer. If b squared minus 4ac is greater than 0, all numbers greater than 0 are positive. So all you have to remember is if b squared minus 4ac is positive, let me write this a little bit neater. If it's positive, then there are two real answers. If b squared minus 4ac is less than 0, numbers that are less than 0 are negative. So if b squared minus 4ac is less than 0, then there are two imaginary answers. They're not real solutions. They're imaginary. So let's try to do a problem. So number one, the number in front of x squared, there's an invisible one sitting there. So a equals one. The number in front of the x is b, b equals nine. And the number by itself without an x is c, c is 18. The discriminant, remember we're computing the discriminant, is b squared minus 4 times a times c. So my step one was put a parenthesis everywhere you see a letter so we can have a nice space to put the numbers in. Put the correct number in the correct parentheses. b squared, b was 9, minus 4 times a, a was 1, times c, and c is 18. So 9 squared is 81 minus 4 times 1 is 4. 4 times 18 is 72. 81 minus 72 is 9. This is a positive number. So when they say compute the discriminant, we just did. Now the question is, how many solutions will I have from my quadratic equation that I have up here? Well, the, the uh, instructions above us told us. If our discriminant is positive, if b squared minus 4ac is greater than 0, our b squared minus 4ac equaled 9, so it is greater than 0, there are two real answers. So if asked, your discriminant is 9, then you can say there are two real solutions or real answers.
Let's try the next problem. By the way, we have a B here, but that's supposed to be an X. A equals 1, the number in front of X squared. B equals 3. And C equals 7. The formula is for the discriminant B squared minus 4 times A times C. B squared minus 4 times A times C. B is 3, A is 1, and 7 is C. 3 squared is 9. 4 times 1 times 7 is a negative 28. 9 minus 28 is a negative 19. That's our discriminant. Now we want to know how many solutions we have. If our discriminant is negative, then there are two imaginary answers. So we just write this down. There are two two imaginary answers. You could say there are two imaginary solutions. Solution is just another word for an answer. Let's try one more. A equals 1. B equals 4. And C equals 4. The formula was B squared minus 4 times A times C. Step 1, put a parenthesis everywhere you see a letter. Put the correct number in the correct parentheses. B is 4. A is 1. C is 4. 4 squared is 16. Minus 4 times 1 is 4. 4 times 4 is 16. 16 minus 16 is 0. That's our discriminant. Then it's going to ask you how many solutions do we have. We're going to go above. And if your discriminant equals 0, there is one real answer. So you would just come down here if somebody asks how many answers are you going to have with this quadratic equation. There is one real answer. And that's how to compute the discriminant. Please feel free to watch any of my videos. I hope this helps.